there has been a major effort to bring Rust into the Linux kernel as a second language. This was first posted about in April of 2021 as an RFC, a request for comment. And at the time, it wasn't in a good state. But people were at least curious to see whether this would be a good idea. And even if you don't like Rust as a language, it's at least worth thinking about whether it might work. And Linus did reply to this, basically being kind of curious, thinking, hey, this might be a good idea, but it's not ready yet. For example, there were core patches that when you ran out of memory, it would just panic and say out of memory, which the kernel should not do. This was a part of the core Rust infrastructure, and Linus said things like this make me go, yeah, that's fundamentally wrong. But he wasn't throwing away the idea, he knew this could be improved. And since then, there hasn't really been that much media coverage, maybe like a story here and there from Pharonix, but that's pretty much it. But it has been getting work done, and since then, there has been seven extra patch sets to get it to the point it's in today. And there have certainly been a couple of people along the way who didn't really see the point of the project, didn't see it really improving that much, but overall, the conversation here has been incredibly respectful, and it seems like everyone just wants this to improve, because this isn't just like a throwaway thing that someone made just for the sake of it. This has been going on for an entire year. So this latest patch set is from May 23rd, and the comments on this thread are drastically different from the RFC. It went from, this is completely broken, and this is unusable in the kernel, to, hey, um, your documentation should probably be slightly changed. There's some extra words in here that don't really need to be here. And, hey, there is this, like, minor logic error, and, like, there are too many devs listed for this patch, and things like that. Basically, what I'm saying is this patch set is pretty much ready to merge. There's maybe going to be one more iteration, and then it will be done. Now, Linus hasn't commented on this particular thread, but he has talked about it in a different medium. Recently, Open Source Summit 2022 happened in Austin, Texas. And among other things, Linus was a part of a talk with Dirk Hondel, and he had a few things to say about the state of Rust and the Linux kernel, saying that Rust may be here real soon, and specifically mentioning 5.20. Now, 5.19 currently isn't out, and it could potentially make that window. It's just fairly unlikely, because 5.19 is supposed to be available towards the end of July, and that would be cutting it pretty close, and you probably don't want to have that short of a window to introduce a whole new language into the kernel. 5.20 seems like a far more realistic estimate, but it might not actually be called 5.20. Linus isn't exactly a big fan of having big numbers in the kernel version, so it's entirely possible that instead of that, the number gets bumped up to 6.0. At least for the last couple of major kernel versions, 20 is roughly the point where the number gets incremented. Keep in mind though that just because we have a possible release version doesn't mean that's actually when it's going to come out, because Linus also said this, it's getting to the point where maybe it might be mergeable for 5.14 or something like that. And right now, we are very much past 5.14. But for the sake of argument, let's just say it is going to be available. Just because it's going to be available in that version doesn't mean it's always going to be available. Before the Rust people get all excited, you know who you are. To me, it's a trial run, right? We want to have Rust memory safety, so there are real technical reasons why Rust is a good idea in the kernel. But at the same time, it's one of those things. We tried C++ 25 years ago, and we tried it for two weeks, and then we stopped trying it. So to me, Rust is a way to try something new, and hopefully it works out, and people have been working on it a lot, so I really hope it works out, because otherwise they'll be bummed. If the costs end up outweighing the benefits, or the benefits just didn't really exist in the first place, it can always be thrown away, and then something else in the future can be tried. And this is one of the great parts of FOSS. You don't need to come up with all of the solutions yourself, because I'm sure this is not a solution that Linus ever would have tried himself. Now, the introduction of Rust obviously leads to some maintenance complexity concerns, because rather than most of the code base being written in C, now you're going to have really large parts 
also written in Rust. So if you're going to maintain those sections, you do need to know Rust. But Linus doesn't really see it as a significant issue because he's used to seeing other languages as part of the build system. I'm quite used to seeing Perl code or our make files. Our make files are make files in name only. They are an unholy mess of various macros and other helper functions that are really hard to understand. And I'm in the situation where if somebody sends me a patch with some of the scripting and the make files, I don't even pretend to understand Perl. I'm one of those people who think Perl is a write only language. I'm sure Linus does know Perl to some extent, that's basically just hyperbole. But the point he's getting at there is the kernel is not managed by a single maintainer. It's not managed just by him or by Greg Carl Hartman or anyone else on the team. So what you need isn't someone who knows every single thing about every technology used in the kernel. You need trustworthy people who can worry about different aspects. And when we're talking about something at the scale of the Linux kernel, that's really the only way to realistically manage it. People only have so much time in the day to learn so many things, you'll never find someone who knows every single thing they need to know to work on every aspect of the kernel. And you might be asking, well, why even bother with Rust? Hasn't the kernel been doing perfectly fine just doing everything in C? And that tiny brief period where a little bit of code was written in C++ and just thrown away because C++ is a terrible language. And yes, you are absolutely right. And Linus did mention one thing that Rust does offer, memory safety. And yes, you can have memory safe code in C. They've been doing that for years now. The problem with that idea though, is that even the most competent developer is going to make mistakes. Let alone the fact there is a lot of new and up and coming developers who may not know every single minute detail they need to know to make sure this isn't a problem. So rather than fighting against your tooling to make sure the tooling does what you need, why don't you use the tooling that deals with the problem, or at least makes a clear delineation between the memory safe aspects and the potentially memory unsafe things with the unsafe declaration. And back on the original Rust RFC, there's a list of goals for the project and reasons why this change may be beneficial. I'm not going to read them all out, but one of the things you get is more confidence when refactoring code because there is that clear delineation between safe and unsafe blocks. So if someone isn't really confident in dealing with memory unsafe code, they could go and work on those safe aspects. You have some nice modern features like integrated out of the box tooling, built in documentation generation, formatting, linting, things like that, an extensive standard library with a lot of abstractions where low level control isn't necessarily needed. Also a much stricter type system than what is available in C. Plus the fact that right now Rust is a really cool and really popular language, so a lot of people who might never have had interest in committing to the kernel, knowing that Rust is going to be available, might actually decide to go and do so. But Rust is absolutely not perfect, and it certainly does have issues working with older hardware. I'm not sure how that's going to affect the final decision, but I for one am really curious to see how this actually pans out. If you want to go and help out the project or you're just curious about how it's coming along, I'll leave a link to the GitHub in the description down below. This is Rust for Linux and hopefully, hopefully the project goes well and hopefully the patch set does get accepted and we don't see an entire year of work just being wasted. And that's going to be it for me. So let me know your thoughts in the description down below. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you want Rust nowhere near your kernel? I would love to know. So if you like this video, go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robinson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.